Hey, guys, it's your pal Batman here to tell you about all those great comics coming out here at Nerd Out this July. First, I am hoping you are all having a safe and happy holiday for the 4th of July. And now, I will introduce to you the one, the only, your pal Tim! Hey! Thank you, Batman. It's your pal Tim here at Nerd Out Comics, and we're here to talk about all that comic goodness coming out this July 1st. Wow. July 1st. We are halfway through the year. Unbelievable. This this is starting to drag on me, man. You know, all these new changes, all of these new things that we have to do. I mean, I'm not sure. Should I wear a mask? Should I not wear a mask? Should I go into places that I'm not comfortable with? Should I just go ahead and shop like I usually do? Should I go to Walmart? I have no idea. But here we are anyway in July. Wow, it's just time flies when you're having a crazy-ass time. Let's go ahead and talk about the comic books that are hitting the shelves this Wednesday. Not a lot. No DC. No Marvel. They both decided not to ship. Uh-uh-uh. We're taking that fifth week off, and we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of a break, reorganize, restructure, but I believe we are still getting DC comic books next week week. I see it on the invoice, so I'm hoping we're going to get them. So we're not sure exactly when DC is going to stop shipping through Diamond, and we'll go ahead and see where that happens. But until then, we've got a couple of independents, maybe not all number ones, that you should go ahead and check out because of the uh, interest and the heat that are on some of these books. For all you friends and fiends out there that were fans of the Boys TV show, we got The Boys number two. There you go, guys. This one's been, uh, this is Dear Becky. Number two, how did that crowbar get down his throat? Hmm, there is a debut of an interesting team in this book. Uh, I'm not going to give it away, but boy, are they funny. They are hilarious. Go ahead and grab your issues of The Boys, Dear Becky, number two. And then we've got a new kid on the block. And believe it or not, we've got both the trade paperback and the free comic book day edition. That's right, you heard me correct. The free comic book day edition. I believe this is considered number one, even though the trade paperback is the prequel, or not the prequel, but the, you know, the premium, the, the little, the little trickle in. It's, it's coming, it's coming. But, you know, at $9.99, you get a great full, like, what is it, six issue story, plus the new number one, and I believe these are only 25 cents, guys. This is Firepower number one, the new Kirkman book from Image. You may want to grab this one. Heck, grab a couple of copies. You know, there were some really interesting uh, uh, stories about this. If you like Kung Fu, if you like a love story to Kung Fu, if you were fans of Iron Fist, uh, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, um, this truly is a love story to those early 70s books. You need to grab Firepower by Robert Kirkman and Chris Samney. This one's going to kill it, guys. Mark my words, this is Firepower number one from Image. And that's a free comic book day, guys. And then we've got the goddamn The Virgin Brides issue number one by Jason Aaron, R.M. Uh, Guerra, and, and, and is, it, is it Gila or Gila Brusco? There we go. You think I'm Italian, I should be able to pronounce some of these names. This is the goddamn Virgin Brides. Number one, I've read this one. This one seems pretty interesting. You may want to grab this one if you are God, the goddamn fans. Um, there are some evil gods doing some really evil crap. Um, and I can't wait to uh, read issue number two. This is probably going to be my pick of the week. This was a good read. That's the goddamn number one Virgin Brides. And I just wanted to show you this from our good friends in Scout Comics, James Pruitt, Scott Van uh, Domlin, and is it is it Laria F Fella? Uh, Midnight Sky number five with a beautiful The Thing uh, cover swipe. That's really cool. You know me, I'm a horror movie buff, and this is The Thing cover swipe uh, for Midnight Sky Number five, for those of you who collect these types of covers, I suggest you come on in and grab one before they're gone. And of course, for those of you who are Williamson, Williamson and, and Henderson fans, we've got Nail Biter Returns. Number two, can't get more bloodier cover than this. That is Nail Biter Returns. Number two, read this one already too, and this one's still starting to, it's starting to pick up, guys. Uh, this one's going to be good, so all of you Nail Biter fans... Come on in and snatch one of these. And then, of course, we've got the big boy on the block. Where is he at? Where did he go? Is he here? I couldn't believe that this actually came out. We are back visiting the world of The Walking Dead with Negan Lives. That's right. 
Negan lives number one. I believe this is a one-shot. They're probably just testing the waters to see if they can pull off a new Walking Dead book. But this one looks good. I have not read this one yet. I'm ready to go home. Going to grab me a little bit of something to eat. And then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to read this book. I like the little X behind the uh, Skybound um, logo. 2010 to 2020. I guess it's 10 years since they've been around. So we've got Negan Lives, number one. It's a one-shot. Uh, we'll see how that one goes. For all you Negan fans, you should buy a few copies. Then we've got this beautiful Lucio Perillo cover. we got Vampirella, number 10. Pow! Look at that. There you go, guys. That is a beautiful cover from Vampirella. I'm pushing these dynamite books pretty hard. Why? Because dynamite actually shipped like four of their books. Yep, we've got the boys, we got Vampirella, and we've got Vengeance of Vampirella. There you go, guys. Vengeance of Vampirella. That's a beautiful Ben Oliver cover. Uh, this is Vengeance of Vampirella number eight. And then, of course, we've got Red Sonia and Killing Red Sonia also shipped. So at least Dynamite is on the mark by getting all these books out to you during this off week of Marvel and DC. Just uh, go out there and support your uh, uh, smaller publishers like Diamond and grab their books off the shelves at your local comic book shop. And yours truly is right here at your favorite local comic book shop. That's Nerd Out. And I'll be here until the end of time. Isn't that right, Batman? That is correct. I am here to tell you that... I will be here also at Nerd Out until you buy me, and then I can come home with you. That's right, Batman. Thank you very much for saying that. So remember to like, share, and subscribe so that everyone in the Tampa Bay area will know all about the good comic books coming out right here at Nerd Out. And until next time, guys, I'm going for the button. Bang.